All right, welcome back to the channel. So today we are taking a look at the seventh of eight screenshot reveals for the animals in the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. Up next is the North Sulawesi Babirusa. So this is going to be our second pig species for Planet Zoo. Formerly we only had the Warthog, now we've got the Babirusa. I know this one has been on my wish list for a long time. I know it's been on a lot of other people's wish list. And holy cow, did Frontier just knock it out of the park on this one. Look at these things. Look at the texture on this animal with the, the wrinkles and the pores going right down to the nose. And oh my. So yeah, these things are awesome. Thrilled, 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 thrilled to have these in the game. And man, I mean... This, this is the quality we expect from Frontier. I know every harp's on the bit wrong and they said they're going to change it, but this, something of this quality is why the Vinterong had such a backlash, because we expect this kind of quality from Frontier. And honestly, the, they have set themselves a new bar with this animal pack, with the quality of the models and the quality of the textures on most of them. Hopefully, Ventrong's going to look good. Moving on from the Ventrong, though, we're talking about Babarusa today. So, very interesting member of the pig family here, native to Sulawesi and other islands in Indonesia. They have four, pair, uh, four tusks, so two pairs of tusks. These are only present in the male, however. Now, the upper tusks grow upward instead of downward up through the skull, out of the skin, and then curve back around. In captivity, the keepers, their keepers, have to trim these tusks because they can sometimes grow back into the animal's skull and kill them in the wild while well, they don't have keepers to trim them, so that occasionally happens. So the name Babarusa actually translates to pig deer in Indonesian, so Babi pig, rusa deer kind of references not only their slender legs, but also the fact that they're, uh, the tusks kind of resemble antlers. So, yeah, let's take a look at some real-world Babarusa here. And we can compare this to this, and this looks better than the real animal. Like, this is gorgeous. This is a real Babarusa. They're, they're not quite as pretty as Frontier made them, but that's okay. We'll give them a mud wallow and they'll muddy up real good and they'll, they'll look a little more real. So, yeah, kind of one of the uh, more bizarro world animal species of the world, kind of along with our, uh, our sun bear there. So another very unique creature to outdoor zoos. Absolutely thrilled to have them. Another look at a Babarusa here. This one is obviously in captivity. Uh, again, with these tusks that curve backwards. Super, super interesting. So, they prefer the underbrush of tropical forests and along the shores of rivers and lakes. So, we're going to be able to... They should, like, full, full coverage. So, we should be able to just build out completely lush, crazy habitats for them. And I love that. Tired of trying to make a nice looking habitat for a zebra that tolerates barely any foliage at all. But these guys, yeah, right at home in the jungles, which is awesome because, uh, man, I've got a zoo planned for this that, oh, it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to make my computer cry with the uh, with the amount of foliage I'm going to cram in that thing. Actually, I already have a little bit, so we're going to start working on it. Yeah, so in captivity, uh, they're not hugely present in a lot of zoos. They are somewhat inbred in captivity. They don't have good genetic diversity. Uh, the Bronx Zoo has an excellent breeding program for them. A few other zoos across the world, uh, St. Louis, Los Angeles, uh, Audubon Zoo, and then Chester Zoo also uh, maintains a breeding population of them. They're not endangered. They're considered vulnerable. Uh, General threats are similar to the, th the threats to the other animals that we've seen in this pack. Mostly habitat loss through deforestation, uh, some hunting for bushmeat. 
So we'll take a look here. This is what the female looks like. So the screenshot that we got for Frontier shows two males. The females do not have the tusks. So then I would assume that the female model will be true to form. No tusks, just a very, you know, pig with a very elongated snout. And then the babies. Uh, I'm very looking forward to seeing the babies because they are the cutest of the cute pig babies. Like all pig babies are cute. These ones are super cute. They start off like this, they grow up into, uh, well, into that, but super, super adorable, so can't wait to see them. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be awesome in-game. I can't wait to build a habitat for these guys. Yeah, so, North Silhouette's Babarusa. We'll take a look at a couple more photos of them here, so you can see here how the tusks are kind of almost growing back and touching his head there. Amazingly interesting animal. I know some people, in when the trailer was re released, was worried that they were going to be a little bit too pink. It looks like, from this screenshot, they're, that, that was probably more of a trick of the lighting. They do have a little bit of pink undertone to their skin, but not co quite a bit. And Frontier was really faithful in getting the darker tones of the head correct, so awesome, awesome model. And then this, I just wanted to show, this is the Babarisa skull. This is from the male, so in most pigs, the tusks kind of the upper tusks, if they have them come down this way in the Babarusa, they can grow up out through the skull, out through the skin, curve back around, and this one looks like it was almost touching its eye. So, incredibly bizarre member of the pig family for our zoos, and I'm just absolutely thrilled to have these. Look at how freaking good that looks. So, yeah, that is the North Sulawesi Babarusa thrilled to have it so let me know in the comments are you excited about this would you like to see a different animal i know there were so many that could have been chosen we got this selection of eight um coming up now three days until we get it and uh, man i can't wait little you know not thrilled about not having any any at all new construction pieces i know we're getting a couple like scenery statues and stuff and signs for well, not for these in particular, but signs for the other animals. And then these guys' signs will be coming in a later update, apparently. I, I think I can get over it. I've already started working on my uh, Southeast Asia-themed zoo, which I'll be putting up as a series here pretty quick. I did not get early access, so I'm going to drop the first episode of that tomorrow, which will be fine, because there's not going to be anything DLC-related in it yet. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, comment down below what you think. Like the video if you enjoyed it. It does help me out. It helps me grow the channel. And uh, hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow we'll be taking a look at the proboscis monkey. That'll make 8 of 8 for the Southeast Asia Animal Pack.